Hey everyone, it's been some time since our last video and it kind of got lost on working on this big documentary and to be honest, it's almost ready, but I just kind of thought it'd be smarter to, you know, just take our time on it and in the meantime, come out with some smaller videos. I mean, these bigger videos can be hit or miss, so it's probably just good for us to take a break and get some content out for the time being. Now, this isn't a new theory or anything, but I did think that it'd be interesting to cover on the channel. So we all know about mud flood and most of us can accept that there was some type of event that buried many of the buildings around the world. There's so much of this mud that entire cities had to be dug out by hand. I mean, you see this magnificent architecture yet the streets are dirty and muddy and these people are on a horseback in many of these old photos. There are many theories as to where this mud may have come from. It very well could have come from flash floods, as we still see today with mudslides from around the world. It's possible that it could have been earthquake related through liquefaction when the ground became more malleable and many of these structures began to sink into the ground. Some say that it may have come from the firmament itself, considering the sheer amount of mud covering these cities is too much to come from just a single source. But I did find this very interesting, especially with what's going on in recent events. It's that we're all taught about this Dust Bowl event in school. And is it possible that this well-known event may have something to do with this mud flood cataclysmic phenomena? The untouched southern Great Plains for centuries subject to unpredictable weather, relentless wind, and recurrent drought. But in season, the richest grazing land on earth. Then came the cattleman, overgrazing and scarring the lush plains grass that held the water in the soil. In 1887, the farmer came, heedlessly ripping away the protective cover of turf that kept the soil from blowing away in time of drought. The dangers of drought were learned, but soon forgotten. The times were good. New settlers came, impressed with the rains and bumper crops. The fertile soil, considered inexhaustible, was taken for granted. Thousands poured into the plains to grab what they could from the soil. Unknowingly, they were creating this area that in the 30s would be called the Dust Bowl. So the whole mainstream story is that the Dust Bowl was the name given to the drought-stricken Southern Plains region of the United States, which suffered severe dust storms during a dry period in the 1930s. The story that they give us is that it's the fault of these inexperienced farmers who had moved to the Great Plains after the Homestead Act of 1862. They are the ones to blame for this event. Essentially, after World War I, these farmers began over farming in order to produce enough for the rising demand of wheat and corn, as the story goes. Because the crops began to fail after the drought of 1931, this led to the overplowed farmland being exposed, which was then blown away, creating massive dust storms. Now, I don't know about you, but there's just something about the story that seems like a cover-up, especially if you consider that humans have supposedly been farming for thousands of years by this point. Could it be that this wasn't due to inexperienced farmers, but instead, it was the aftermath of a very recent cataclysmic event that has been rewritten and explained away by our mainstream officials. This way, we don't become aware that these events happen with relative frequency. If you kind of think about it, mud falling from the sky or even severe floods would cause a lot of damage, but in many of these old photos, we see that everything is still very much intact. Could it be that these massive dust storms mix with harsh rain in order to create a sort of mud flood phenomena, so it's still sort of like mud flood in a way? It's even possible that these storms were created from a source, 
or are the result of an energy outburst which we can cover as we continue. It's just very suspicious that this education system wants to spin this as the result of bad agricultural practices that were just localized to America. Yet, this could have been a worldwide event. There were even black blizzards that swept across America as far east as Washington DC and New York City. These clouds of dust were so massive that it would darken the sky for days at a time. Over 850 million tons of topsoil had blown off the southern plains in 1935. That's 8 tons of dirt for every resident of the United States. That seems like a lot. So where did this topsoil go? Another possibility is that this event was purposely initiated in order to bury many of the leftover architectures in the United States. Another reason that this event is taught in our mainstream history classes is because this event directly contributed to the Great Depression. Was it deliberate? Was there a technology at the time hidden from the public that could manipulate the weather to benefit the elite? Does that technology still exist to this day? Quote, he who controls the weather controls the world. The phrase popularized by President Lyndon B. Johnson, but it is surely an age old phrase. They loved to teach that the Great Plains were desolate and empty. However, there were great native tribes and mines in this area that possibly could have been the remnants of an advanced old world civilization. Were they still in existence, and this was a way to wipe out the evidence of the old world? We also must question the dating of this event, as many of these pictures could be much older in origin as, many of you know, the history of photography has been manipulated. Many of these things that they date in the 1900s are actually much older, such as cars, telephones, television, air travel. Many of these inventions were relabeled after the cataclysm and given new dates. There very well could have been hundreds of years added to the timeline just to fix and correct the amount of inconsistencies that are throughout our given history. That said, this event could have taken place during a war, possibly even the Civil War. And again, let's remember that even that story has its own falsities to unveil. The running narrative is that this war was due to slavery. Some may ask, well, if the Civil War was much more recent, why aren't there any real photos of the war, not staged ones? Well, that's kind of the point. There are no real photos of the Civil War because it's not what they tell us it is. It wasn't a battle for slavery. It was a battle for a movement of power from the old world to the new world. So essentially, and many of us have already accepted this, but we aren't really in 2021. These dates have been set up to manipulate our perception of time and history. They don't want us to know that in recent times, there is an invasion of the old world. Many tactics were used, one of them being the deliberate use of weather modification, creating massive dust storms in order to create mass deaths and dependency on the government. This also would have begun the transfer of wealth from the remaining old world into the new world. What it comes down to is, we cannot truly trust that this event occurred in 1935. We also must question if it was actually much longer in its duration, and even the amount of people who were killed, buried, or destroyed due to dust pneumonia and or the mud that came from the mixing of heavy rain after these dust storms. So what do you guys think? Is there a connection between the Dust Bowl event of mainstream history and what is known as mud flood and Tartaria circles? Do you guys think that weather modification is still happening today? I mean, we are seeing a rise of deadly weather activity. There's a lot more to cover when it comes to mud floods, so please share your findings in the comments and we'll make sure to get to it in the next video.